Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today I accepted Sterling Davis's Pallet Project Challenge. You want to see how I do it? Stay tuned.
All right, the project's done. Made this top hat. I left it uh, just lacquer on the inside so you can kind of see the palette layers on the inside. The, uh, about the only thing I would have done differently on this is I would have probably just made a template instead of trying to cut the whole thing out on the CNC machine. CNC machine worked out great, but it just took forever. Uh, it could have been done a lot faster with a router and a template and uh, probably probably look a little better too. But uh, Now the X-Carve worked out great. I didn't really have to do a whole lot other than feed the machine because uh, it was pretty much the same pattern all the way through the project. So that's all I got for you. I'd like to thank Sterling Davis for putting on the pallet project challenge. And... Uh, Go check out the playlist. I know there's at least over 50, con uh, 50 projects entered. And for every project that's entered, uh, Sterling Davis and uh, a few other YouTubers are putting in a dollar for every project that's been entered. And that's going to go to the uh, Wounded Warriors project. So I think that's pretty cool. Also, Sterling has uh, uh, plenty of prizes and everything for the... Uh, uh, upcycle challenge and uh, one of them is one of my t-shirts I uh, was happy enough to uh, donate a t-shirt for this for this challenge uh, I'm not one for project uh, pallet projects because I hate tearing down the project pallets and I can hardly ever seem to find them uh, but I was lucky enough to find one this time and I had just enough to do this project. So this is Mike from MF Woodshop. Thanks for watching. Go check out the Sterling Davis's playlist for the pallet projects and uh, I'll see you next time.